As you just saw, a manager is required to keep track of various things. The manager ensures that the entire package is created and now this package sometimes may need to be dismantled in order to be shipped and so on. While this may sound like an artificial example, what actually happens in a network is something very similar. The application layer is what corresponds to the manager in this case. It's the application layer's task to ensure that the request is sent. For example, if you are considering a client and a server or imagine that you are making a request for a web page, it's the application layer which ensures that the entire web page is sent from the web server to your computer. Now this could be a very large page and the same problems as we saw in the analogy may exist in the network. Hence, the page has to be split into chunks. This is similar to what we saw in the analogy as the manager having the dispatch section where there are different people who are able to carry only 30 kilos, sending things by different routes and so on and so forth. So at a very rough level, if we look at what are the key ideas that have been discussed through this analogy, the first idea is one of layering. So there are different layers which have different functions. The manager's layer function is to keep track of the entire shipment. The next layer's function is to make sure that there are packages created. And the third layer's function, which is the dispatch, its function is to actually carry the package from one place to the other. Similarly, in a network, there are multiple layers. We will come to seeing how that works in a network. The other idea that we have seen is one of chunking or segmentation as it is called in networking parlor. Messages as packets, networks to bind us and connecting wires are we mysterious? Don't you evade us, switching through the phases, Professor Shri the will demystify.